Hello everyone guys, girls and non-binary pals, my name is Sam Harkin, we are doing another Half Informed because, I mean, I'm just, like, drowning in codes, which, you know, I shouldn't be complaining about because, you know, like, in a month from now I'll be like, I want more codes, um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy how many codes I have right now, um, because I really want to fucking play, um, cool, better buy numbers, but, we will be saving that for a, for a special time, I suppose. Um, but, for today, we've got another indie game. Um, so, this is kind of one that I just kind of happened upon, um, called Femida. Uh, the idea seems to be, like, you are, like, you know, it's your standard kind of future dystopia, where, you know, potentially there's a totalitarian government or whatever, uh, and you're playing as a judge. So, it kind of feels like it's going to have almost like a Papers, Please kind of vibe to it. Um, but we shall see, because we're doing a half-informed preview. For those of you who do not know, that is where we load up a new save, or in this case, I think I'm supposed to press continue so I don't get any bugs. Um, and yeah, uh, we shall see what uh, this game has in store. So let us do that. See, that actually loaded something, but it might have bugs, we'll see. The story is tailored by your choices. There are four to seven endings depending on how you count. All right? Uh, there is only one good ending and it's the most difficult to achieve. To be expected. Uh, press any button to proceed, but don't do anything crazy like Alt F4 out. Well, okay, yeah, thanks. What should I know? Oh. Provisional government summoned Demian Marcock. Mardok to serve at the capital. He has accepted the transfer. His father disappeared after the march for peace. Yeah, this feels very dystopic. Tomorrow he will arrive and soon send the man responsible for it to the scaffold. Assuming that's supposed to be, you know, like the, you know, the guillotine or whatever. What are you afraid of? A dangerous city. Metropolis lives by its own rules. I hope he will understand them. I have another concern. What's the concern? His father. He might... Oh. Good sunny day, everyone. Best of... Best time to go on a picnic in a park with your family. Moreover, have a good occasion. You have a good occasion for that. Today, a year has passed since the start of the Democratic Revolution. Yeah, whatever. Democratic Revolution. Uh, not that long ago, brave people of our city, Metropolis, overthrew the bloody dictator. Last week we honoured the innocent people and the heroes who were murdered on his commands while fighting for our freedom. Provisional government has organised a big event in the central square. They have done a good job so far in giving us the rights we deserve and reforming our great state. So thank them if you have the chance. Let's rejoice and celebrate. And now for the weather forecast. After lifting the, lifting the luggage to Miller's place. My back. Oh, here it is. Oh, hi. Hello, Mila. Did you find your keys? I was in the bathroom and I didn't hear you knocking. Are you done? Yeah, that's all. Thanks for allowing me to stay at your place. It's expensive to rent in Metropolis. Glad to see you. Me too, old friend. How did you get this job, by the way? Oh, long story short, the provisional government fired many employees in the capital, clerks, officials, judges and others. They designed a lottery to fill in the positions because they didn't want to have the same bias amongst the judges. Okay, well that's a good way to make sure that all your judges, juries and executioners are completely not fit for the job, but alright. Uh, lucky, lucky you, I have to go to work soon. It's okay, your job in the hospital is obviously more important. I thought we were going to have a little chat. You haven't changed, or he's in high school. You could have walked out in a towel. I wouldn't have minded. Okay, I'm just going to say, your job's important. Yeah, but you have just arrived. I hope you're going to stay at my place while you're in the capital, or maybe forever. I don't know why there isn't a... Mila. I don't know. I, I, it is kind of awkward. I feel like there should be like a character symbol. I don't know. I don't feel like I should be like too critical of an indie game for like, oh my god, the scope isn't enough for me. I'm sorry. Let me play doctor for a moment. Did you take the prescribed pill? As I know, you still have headaches. Uh, well, sometimes I miss some job, you know. Please never miss one. Oh my god, I feel like I'm getting lectured because like I totally miss my meds all the time. I'm a mess. 
Your severe headaches can affect your performance at work. You have a big responsibility. You are going to judge all these serious cases. Do you imagine the consequences if you don't do well? I care for you so much. Please keep taking them. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. What time is it? Oh, I gotta go. Bye. Me too. Almost late. Someone's waiting upstairs. Man in white. You realize we are breaking procedure, conducting a trial without an important witness. Doctor said he will get well soon. We have been waiting for too long. Oh my god, I can't do voices. I'm just... <laughs> uh, the crowd's demand is death. The situation will get out of control. As... As any citizen of the state, he deserves a fair trial. We need to wait for the marshal. The archive of revolution isn't even declassified yet. I don't, am I supposed to know what any of this means? Dictator has always already declared guilty of crimes against state and much more. Doomed to die. Marshal is the enemy of state too. We don't need his testimony. Once he is awake, he will be executed too. Is this... I'm assuming this is supposed to be, like, relevant to me. <laughs> okay. But the procedure. I remember your family and the general secretaries were close. You were his loyalists and then flipped to another side so fast after the revolutionary forces took over. Now you are a general prosecutor instead of just a marionette of his. Don't worry, general prosecutor. I will take care. I wouldn't... Oh, here he is already. He is here already. Oh, they're talking. What? Hello, Mr. Mardok. Wait, so they just immediately switched from man in black and man in white to just... Oh, the, the, the prosecutor, I guess. Nice to meet you. I hope you had no difficulties uh, getting here. Let me introduce us. My name is Charles Humphrey, the general prosecutor, which I'm assuming is this guy? I don't know. Like, I, I wasn't paying attention to the specific, this is the prosecutor and this is the other guy. Um, oh my god. Uh, Charles Humphrey, general prosecutor. I'm going to show you around. This is Quentin Gunn, director of Secret Service. So I'm guessing he's, I don't know. So here's our hero. Intelligence. I think what happened is he was halfway through his sentence and then Gunn interrupted him. So then he finished his sentence. But I don't remember, like, specifically what was at the very end of his sentence. That is such a weird way to do dialogue, my dude. Um... Sure, uh, I will do my best. Sure, you will. Good for you. This is so odd. Your first job is going to be the trial state versus former general secretary of state. The judge who was originally in charge of this case died not so long ago. We suspect he was murdered. Wait, what? Don't be afraid. We will take care. What? This is so weird. Former JS is already declared guilty of a number of serious crimes. It is more of a show trial at this point, and you get to finish the show. I'm curious about what you think about conducting a trial without a key witness. Hard to say without knowing the details. Regardless of your opinions, the court is preparing for the trial. A public violent execution will calm all these radical movements down. You will sentence him to death. Saying goodbye. Oh, so this is the prosecutor. <laughs> Whatever. Saying goodbye is not his thing. Not a pleasant gentleman. But Mr. Gunn is a professional. I wouldn't recommend messing with him. Revolutionary forces tried to assassinate him and public officials tried to replace him and none of them are alive now. Gunn is one of the few who is still holding their position after the revolution. What a dick. Noted. Uh, so far, so good. Before we go in, I have a question for you. What is justice? Oh, jeez. Keeping order, preventing harm, and punishing evil, never breaking the rules, and everyone being equal before the law. What's great and good for society? Still haven't figured it out. Um... I mean, I, I do like the never breaking, because that's kind of my aesthetic, but I'm kind of like, I feel like what's more important is keeping things orderly and... and Preventing harm. Hmm, you remind me 
GP. Oh, general prosecutor. Fucking all the uh, guys. Like, I, once again, I don't want to be, like, hammering on this game for, like, the scope isn't enough. But at the same time, like, I've been playing this for, like, not even ten minutes and we're already just, like, you're just jumping between shit. Um, anyway. Hmm, you remind me of someone. We shall come inside now. That's a weird way of writing that. Um, I don't want to be that critical, but at the same time, if I'm reading out all the sentences and I'm just like, Huh? Um, whatever. I'm going to show you your workplace. Okay. Alright. Tutorial. Folders on the table. Review the document. Steel case to review the evidence. Door to proceed to the courtroom to start the trial. You can design, change the design on the wall. Red flag. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? So I signal, like, my allegiance? Oh, okay. It's like, gonna have a gameplay effect that I, you know, like, ooh, you're already establishing yourself as a renegade kind of thing, as opposed to, like, we're not gonna judge you by your actions, we're gonna judge you by what color fucking thing you have. Um. Oh, can I just go with, like, this random one? It's just, like, I don't have any allegiance. Um. Oh, yeah, I should go with that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Wait, where is the f was this the flag, or were they talking- Because they were talking about a flag in a picture. And I don't think I can change that. Uh, I don't know, this is weird. Okay, let's review the evidence. Overview of the case. The dictator reigned... So, we're prosecuting the dictator, um, who has been overthrown. Uh, already charged with digital crimes. Investigation suggests a month before March. Apartment building to be bombed. To imitate a terrorist threat from the outside. Wow. Okay. Uh, the explosion has caused hundreds of fatalities and thousands of people are injured. Closely related to the defendant, witnesses testified that he called it a common practice to keep united and ready for changes. A group of people? Fucking Christ. Group of people uh, known later as revolutionary forces or flood water exposed him and initiated the democratic revolution by openly assaulting the dictator's loyalists. The dictator declared them the foreign-funded terrorist organization responsible for the bombing. All right. The situation quickly escalated to violent confrontation, so the people of Metropolis gathered for the march for peace, demanding a peaceful transition of power. Upon reaching the central square, police and the National Guard opened fire on the peaceful protest. Following this tragedy, society let the revolutionary force overthrow the Communist Party and appoint the provisional government. Today's trial will determine whether the dictator was responsible for the mass shooting or not. You know, we, we've kind of been like, he bombed a whole bunch of stuff, but then we're asking like, okay, but is he responsible for the mass shooting? Which is, you know, kind of to the side. So literally this is like 110% open and shut. Why the fuck do I, okay. Basically, so basically what I've gathered from the testimony and the, and the evidence is just straight up like, he just ordered like a whole bunch of people killed. Like we've got a witness who saw the, the shooting order. We've got like, We've got, like, witnesses, we've got video evidence, we've got, you know, 99%, you know, matching signature for, like, a, you know, you know, here's the order to shoot everyone. <laughs> okay. I don't know why they were just like, make sure you review all the evidence just in case. It's like, well, obviously. Um, oh my god. Participants list, ooh. Um, pick a character, ask the questions, paper on the table to review evidence, gavel to start the trial sentence. <coughs> Keep the tension on the tension meter down using gavel during the trial. You have to replay a trial if the tension gets out of hand. Score as much as you can by asking relevant questions. With low scores, the number of endings can get very much. Oh, okay. So it's like, oh, it's really obvious that blank. 
but you know you have to kind of get a good score by like asking the right questions and making sure people don't get too rowdy and whatever. Yeah, during the previous trials, he's already been charged with abuse. Uh, the last judge who worked with us, and uh, that's why. Uh, okay, um, let's ask him. My client has been chosen. That's all we have to say. Well, fucking, who gives a shit then? Let's talk to this guy then. That's not the guy I thought I was talking to, but whatever. Uh, what happened at the square? Shit happened. A uh, bunch of meatheads. Uh, Mr. Clot, don't forget where you are. We insist you keep us. Uh, next. Pardon your honor. My deputy received the order from dictator. Uh, um, connection to the dictator. What connections did you have with the defendant? He appointed me to this position. I would appoint uh, my fist to this bastard's face for now for what he has done if I could. Why? Ordinary people suffered from these decision actions. I've always been one wanted to spit truth to this motherfucker. Tension rises. Okay. Are you sure? It doesn't look like it's rising. What connections did you have with the defendant? He appointed me to this position. It was, yeah, I get it. Okay. Upon... Uh, Uh, do, 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 do. Public servants murdered, as of course, no murder. Some uh, what were the murders? Big, uh, it's too early to say the investigation is ongoing. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Police actions regarding the. Regarding police. Why did the police open fire? They followed the order of their superior. Those officers, few some died on the way, some resigned, it's hard to do with it, PTSD and sh ish like that. Excuse the police. So the officers were right to shoot an unarmed crowd of innocent people. Executing the orders is our duty. Accusations like this one will hurt your score in future trials. What? Why? Even killing each other, your honor, my guys did his job, he didn't like it, your job is to sentence the criminal, what else do you want from me? Well, I mean, like, you're also being a shit, so you deserve some kind of uh, stuff. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be fucking doing in this game. Um, I'm gonna fucking talk to someone else, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Did the dictator order the shooting according to the investigation? He did. Why did he do this? Uh, rendered uh, with a giant bunch of people, he t panicked. People in such a position off tem develop paranoia. On the dictator, did any uh, conflicts aren't rare? They're part of the process, Your Honor. Can we know more about this? Uh, nothing uh, special or serious. Uh, how close were you, were you working together? Could you clarify the question? Push further. Have you participated in closed doors discussion with the Secretary of State's administration? I prefer not to interfere with politics. I do possess extensive knowledge about the state affairs, but I can't share it. It would be unethical. This information is classified and I don't see how it connects to the case. Okay, fine. Um, shooting order. Did you receive the shooting order or was it or was involved in issuing it in any way? Issuing and execution of such orders are not part of my job's responsibility. We found out later. Are we 100% confident that he did? Public and judiciary conviction plus one. Yes, we are. The dictator did it. Okay, yay. I got points on the board, which is good, I think. Um, March of Peace. Do you know about the March of Peace prior to the events? We had no certain information. What caused the March? People so they came down. March of People of Changes. How did this happen? You are a man in charge of interview. Yeah, you didn't know. Received tons of data to process internal security concerns themselves only with serious threats to the state and our people. Did anyone notify the doc di dictator in advance? Yay. Silence in the courtroom. I don't know when people working notified the director. He knew on the day the march was happening, to my knowledge. His staff used to brief him every morning. Okay, sick. Um. Investigation. Did you investigate the events at the Central Square and the following transition of power? We did. The only conclusion. There's not even a fucking space between the two names. Guys. Fucking Christ. If literally your entire game is communicated through text, you got to do like a little bit better. 
Like, I don't, I don't want to fucking rag on, but like, come on, this is the entire game. Like, if there's no voice acting, and I have to read everything, at least make sure that everything's fucking, like, properly checked. Uh, da -da -da -da, foreign interference. That's the yellow press level of a conspiracy. So it's impossible to make this murderer look innocent. Sounds fair, but there are enough power players in Metropolis itself, but still. Ooh, judiciary conviction. We will reclassify the information upon request of the provisional government. Seems like we'll never know all the details. Even for da -da 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 -da. Cool. Um... Christine, sure. Hit the master page. Oh, there's more. Mm. Thank you. Proceed to questions. Next one I have to go to is this guy then. Um, you may start talking. What happened? Everything had been all right. Then confusion. Someone screamed. Someone started running. Shots were fired. Da -da -da -da. Continue. Yay. F uh, father told me to flee. Da -da -da. By the time I found him, he was dead. Who shot first? National, no, wait, hold on. The National Guardsman started it, the policeman followed. Uh, do, 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 do. How were they behaving? Any provocations? Plenty of elderly people and parents with little kids. Someone in the crowd could have acted provocatively, but the reaction of the Guardsman was reprehensible. Like most people, I saw the first fire coming from the National Guardsman. Opinion on the dictator. I don't know anything about politics. Okay. Uh, with the march orchestrated, I don't think there was power in so strong that they can march thousands of people to mass murder. No, I'm not gonna. Uh, rumors of possible violence. Rumors. Duh, 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 duh. I want to talk to this guy though. Before the event. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, smelled of alcohol. Oh, Jesus. Alright, who is becoming paranoid? What happened? Pulled placards and shouted phrases. Let's say, displeased them. Didn't know what was going on. Uh, I was going back and forth, uh, fast on the upper floor, overseeing the demonstration, and concluded it was foreign powers. Yeah, whatever. He wrote the shooting order, signed it, and commanded me to send it over. I did my job only now that I realized the mistake I made. I apologize to it before the people of the state and the court. Fair. During the shooting. We both stayed inside and watched people die. I saw a grim smile on his face. He called them all enemies of state. I resigned after the massacre and helped the revolutionist forces. The people clap and cheer him. Okay, whatever. Um, the provisional government gave me a pardon. Okay, hold on. Your responsibilities. Uh, give me a fucking space between the two names, guys. I acted as administrative assistant to the general secretary. Uh, dictator's personality. I knew him personally for a few years. He was never in a rush, I would say. At times, he was lazy. General secretary was tyrannical and neurotic, but I must admit sometimes he was rough and intimidating for his age. Your employment now. Um, is there any fucking thing else I need to do? Like, I feel like I've already done everything that I really needed to do. I just end it here? Yeah, sure. I mean, like, it was obvious what the thing was. Prosecuted death sentence. The state had no problem with killing our citizens before, but this time it's different. There are many cases where men... On the death row, or even in the grave, turned out to be innocent. How many innocent lives will state take before we strip the government of the power to kill people? The archive of revolutions that contains all dirty secrets of the past two years isn't declassified yet, and the key witness is not present. We can stop this violent tradition of executions right here and right now. Hmm, I gotta try and send a request to this archive. Now I can glean some information regarding my father. Okay, don't get distracted. You careful to sentence. Fuck it. Innocent? I'm not giving him fucking innocence. He's guilty as shit. Death by firing squad. I mean, like, that feels the most poetic. Overall satisfaction with your job 14. Current savings 14. Sick. 5%. I have to do that 20. If. Jeez. I mean. Good God. 
if it's actually the length of the game, like this is a seven hour game, but it's just like seven hours of just that, but like 19 more times. Oh my God, guys. Oh, dude. Um, okay. Click on buttons, warrants, and order. An order. To issue orders to the investigation. Uh, oh, I can just order all of them. Um, oh, I need a fucking... Won't arrest him, but I'll interrogate him. Okay, let's have a look at this. Recover the footage and summon all attendees of the execution to be questioned by police. No, why do I need to do that? Detailed medical and psychological evaluation of the defendant. I don't know. I don't think I really need to do that. Tap defendant's phone. No. Cover fingerprints from the gun. Oh, this is a completely different one. See, it like, it gave me no fucking... Okay. Court of Patrol sends Edward Mason to death for raping and murdering seven year old boys. Parents of the deceased were present during the execution. Okay. When Edward Mason spoke his last word, he described in detail what he had done to his victim. James Anderson, father of the boy, grabbed the gun out of... Police Officer Paul Wood's holster and shot Edward Mason a few times before Officer Wood took him down. Mr. Anderson... Uh, Mr. Anderson murders Edward Mason just minutes before his execution by electrocution. Police of, police of Metropolis seek charges against Mr. Anderson for murder and taking officer's gun. Okay. Mason's attorney accuses Mr. Anderson and the officers of conspiring to avenge Anderson's child. Uh, if the investigation succeeds in discovering evidence, you will get extra conviction points at the start of the trial. Police of Metropolis are corrupt and also lack resources and time, so choose what to order wisely. When an order is abusive to the rights of citizens and seems unnecessary, you will be fined. All right. By the way, you can't just keep them all checked. If you do, many of them will fail. So pick what you think is important. Okay. I wanna, I'm going to start with like none of them and then just opt in, shall we? That's a good way to go about doing that. Okay. Recover footage and summon all attendees of the ex execution to be... That's 100% something we need to do. Just to confirm everything. I mean, we probably don't need to, but like, we might as well. Um, I do want a psych report on the defendant. Uh, I don't think we need a ballistics examination, unless somebody, like, turns around and says, like, I saw him pull it out of his own coat pocket, which would be wild. Uh, attain all records of defendant's behaviour from government. No, we don't need that. Medical history. No. Ask Anderson, Piers, Colors, and other who are were to evaluate him. Sure. V investigate the execution. For um. Interrogate. Yeah, maybe. Um. I'll get fingerprints from the gun. I think that will be enough. Hopefully. Um, and also, we've only got one minute left, so we're gonna just, like, leave it there. Like, they're gonna taunt me with that, aren't they? Okay, now. Oh. You can take the pills. Use the phone. Oh my god, what is all this? Hospital now, nothing serious, no need to visit me here. Once I get well, you can come over to my place. Okay, Mom, I hope you well, I can't wait to see you. Okay. <laughs> nice.
for someone who specializes in game audio, this kind of hurts my soul just a little. Um, alright. Um, but that's the end. So... <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I mean, I like the look of this game, and I like the idea of this game, but... Yeah, this is not really up my alley. Um, I might do a review of this. We'll see. Um, you know, it's definitely kind of one of those things where it's just like, I've got like five things that I have to review at the moment. And this is, let's just say, based on the first 30 minutes I played, this is definitely not a priority for me to, to sink some time into. Um, yeah. That's basically it. Um, okay. If you enjoyed that, uh, please like and comment and subscribe. Feel free to click on the bell to get notifications for when new videos are coming out. Um, still got a couple of half-informed things coming. Uh, still got some codes. Still got murder by numbers, please. Hopefully coming soon. Um, and also feel free to donate to our Patreon where you can, uh, you know, help support not only the videos but also the podcast including uh the inconsolables in which i will be probably talking a little bit about this uh you know every so often you know so if you're you know waiting for my thoughts on it you can always just look there um but yeah that's it my voice is starting to go guys <coughs> um so i'll go recover my voice and i'll see you soon